Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Kvetskol bringing you guys a ranging guide at Nightmare Zone for RuneScape 2007. This is one of the best ways to train your range in the game besides chaining, and it does save you a lot of money compared to the chaining method. If not, you actually make a profit depending on your range level. So, as you can see right here, I'm just uh, killing the monsters in the actual mini game. So, let's get into the requirements now. So. First thing that you're going to want to have is at least 70 range, that's what I would recommend. The higher the better, because the higher you are the more you'll be hitting and the more XP you'll be getting, but that is the minimum requirement I would suggest. Also, the higher prayer level you have the better, however at a bare minimum you're going to need to have the protect against the melee prayer. So here is my setup right here, as you can see I'm wearing full range void, I got an Avis accumulator with a fury, an archer ring imbued, I am using broad bolts as my weapon with an armadillo crossbow, I tried some black knives and some other weapons but I found that this works the best. Then I also have a armadillo book, aka book of law, which also is the best shield you can wear that gives range attack bonus and it also gives you prayer bonus. Then I got some snakeskin boots, you can obviously swap those out if you're rich as fuck and have some ranger boots. Um, then in my inventory, as you can see, I got some cash in order to get into the minigame, some overloads, which is um, the best thing that will be boosting your range level, some prayer potions, a void melee and SGS swish, which will help me heal on prayer, and two red fire lighters for good measure. Thank you for interrupting my guide, Freaky Forester, fuck you, and by the way, the red fire lighters are a joke, you don't need those. So here's an alternative setup if you don't have full range void. So as you can see, I have God Dehyde or Blessed Dehyde or whatever you want to call it. And Dragon Gloves because I'm a noob and don't have time to do quests. So you could obviously swap those out for Barrels Gloves. And this does work well, but not as good as Void. However, it does save you like some prayer, but it's not really much of a difference. So once you're all set up, all you gotta do is head up north and find somebody selling what you want, which is a hard melee game with preferably not a black demon and with Mountain Daughter instead, which is the bear. However, it doesn't make too much of a difference what you do as long as you're doing uh, hard melee, which is the best thing you can do. So find somebody who has preferably NMZ in their names, so that way you know they're legit and is selling it for 20k and then you'll get in. I did try the normal difficulty rather than the hard difficulty, but I actually found that you get less XP from it because you hit the same amount in a hard game with an armadillo crossbow however in the normal games each individual monster has less HP which means that whenever you are maxing when they are near dead um, you won't be actually getting the full XP that you normally would because they have less health so also along with that you won't be getting nearly as many nightmare zone points which could be spent on herb boxes that way you can make some more prayer potions in the future or uh, get any other lootations from the nightmare zone rewards which helps you get some money along with the xp that you get which is actually pretty nice so i would recommend the hard mode if you can and um once you get in there all you got to do is basically wait for them to spawn you got to use your overload potions every five minutes and uh, same with para potions, you know, every like three or five minutes you're gonna be able to take a dose. When the um, special attack orb comes, if you have an SGS, that helps a lot if you're using that because it will save you a lot on prayer. But I know a lot of you guys watching this video aren't that rich, so if you don't have an SGS, you could always use your armadillo crossbow spec. And if you don't have an armadillo crossbow and you're using a rune crossbow instead, I wouldn't really recommend bringing a special attack weapon anyways because it won't make much of a difference XP per hour wise. So at the moment, I'm 76 range and I get about a little over 55k per hour using this method so obviously the higher range level you have the higher XP you'll be getting per hour hopefully this guide helped you if it did then please remember to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below if you have anything to say if you enjoyed this video then I can almost guarantee that you're gonna enjoy the other RuneScape 2007 videos that I upload on my channel so if you got some extra time check those out and I'll see you guys that are in my next video if you're subscribed peace